Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. It's time to sing our good morning song together. So stretch your arms out like airplane wings and we'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take the circle up over your head and we'll stretch on this side over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top and bring the circle back down and let's sing. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and welcome to circle time. I hope that you're having a great day so far. We have three things that we need to do before we move on to the calendar and weather chart. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. Today, my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin. So I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how to do that? Boom, 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 boom. And now let me grab my pointing stick and we'll go over the date together. Right up at the top, we have the month. Do you remember what month it is? October. That's right, and today is October 19th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was October 18th, and today is October 19th. And right up here we have the year. You can say that the year is 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both of those ways are correct. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of October. Let's take out our counting fingers. We'll warm them up to give them a stretch. And because we have quite a lot of counting to do today, let's also take a deep breath together, like this. One more time. We have our counting fingers and I have my counting stick and let's see how many days we've had so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We've had 19 days so far in the month of October. The month is more than halfway over. Now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. So hold up your seven fingers like this, and if you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over together. So listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. This says that yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is T. Tuesday, and tomorrow will be W, Wednesday. But let's go back and sing Today is Tuesday together. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now, friends? autumn, but you can also say fall. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. 
So let's sing the weather song together, and then we can share what we see outside. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So today where I live, it's a beautiful fall day. The sun is shining, although there are a few clouds in the sky. And my temperature chart is on light blue because it's a little bit chilly today. Chilly, but mostly sunny. And what do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Yesterday, we talked about this capital letter, which says N. Can you make that sound with me? N. And do you remember what letter this is called? N. This is a capital or uppercase N. N says N. I have a picture of something today that starts with the letter N. N. It's inside of this box, and I'll give you a few clues. If you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This is a time of the day where it's dark because the sun sets. When it's clear in the sky, you can see the moon and stars. The opposite of this is the daytime. Hmm, what could it be? Let's take a look. Night or nighttime. The opposite of the day or the daytime is the nighttime. It's when the sun sets and it's dark. And on a clear night, you can see the moon and the stars. Night starts with the letter N. N. This is how you write an uppercase N. N. One more time. And here is the number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? 21. Now, when you write the number 21, because it's a double digit number, you have to write two numbers. First, you write the number two, and then you write the number one. Two, one, 21. Let's count to the number 21 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 21 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, one. Two tens, one unit, 21. Let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. Today, I have an orange calendula flower and it has a bunch of petals. I'm going to remove 21 of them. You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one more makes twenty-one. 21 petals. Yesterday, I showed you how to say science in sign language. Do you remember how? Let's do that together. Science. Before we continue our unit on science, let's go over exactly what science is and some important scientific discoveries that have happened over the years. Science is the study of how or why something works through experiments and observations. Most things in our lives today have been discovered by science 
and some of the most important discoveries include electricity, the internet, and medicine. Let's check out today's work. For today's work, you will need some liquid dish soap, a few shapes that are cut from construction paper, and a container that's filled about halfway with water. So I'm going to take one of my paper triangles, and I'm also going to take my counting finger and dip it into the soap. Not too much, just enough to cover the top of my finger. And then I'm going to drop the paper triangle into the container of water, like this. And I'm going to take my soapy finger and put it right next to the triangle. And did you see how it moved to the corner? Welcome back to Circle Time, friends. Today's experiment was an example of how surface tension works. The top layer of the water inside of the container created a thin sheet called surface tension. But when I added the soap into the water with my finger, it weakened the surface tension, which is why the paper triangle moved across the water. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. At this time, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.